Playoff football live from Selhurst Park. Welcome to coverage of the biggest game of the season so far for Crystal Palace at under 23 level. They host Wolves tonight in a one-off semi-final. And Malachi Boateng has sent Rob Street racing away and Street gets there. Now is that going to cross the line? That is a very fine piece of defending from Pascal Estrada. Saved a certain goal. Wow, Rob slightly unlucky here. Sean Spence drills the ball in Get and in. it's in. <laughs> Rob Street <laughs> runs off celebrating. The fans go wild. What a start to this playoff semi final for Crystal Palace. They're 1 0 up inside 10 minutes. Well, just a few seconds ago, Chris, I thought it should have been 1 0 when Rob got put through. But. Um, Sean Spence with a great delivery, pinged over, clear header there. Jay Rich, powerful down, Rob Street moving towards what just a little toe. Now Spence looks up, carries the ball. A long way, Matheson is uh, hurtling back to try and stop him as he picked out Street, here he has! Oh. And it's just wide, otherwise that would have been a wonderful counter-attacking goal. Sean Spence there did terrifically get up we should get out of the penalty area get out of that penalty area placing that down here it comes it's a deep one and in the end Oli Weber has done very well to smuggle that behind oh good ball here is Rob Street just as you were watching a replay and he's pulled that back to Spence oh Sean golden chance for 2-0 either side of the keeper and surely Palace would have doubled their lead of James, well they've split now, that's dangerous. Yeah, you'd like two more in that wall now. Well, Here it comes from Kundle, and that's oh. a very good save from Oli Weber. I think that was probably dipping in. Fine stop, his second of the evening. Super, but we've had a couple of good chances now which we haven't put away. Here goes the corner again, that first header is one and Raksaki was there. And somehow it stays out, Jay Ridge Bagalow! Yes! Brilliant! Palace are two up. A dream first half in this playoff semi-final. <laughs> wow. I mean, could have been four. Could have been four, but well done, Jerich Bagalou. Good feet, good reaction. Here is uh, Juan. It's a very firm pass, a good one as well. Now, Corbanu up against Russell, who's on that yellow card. And Corbanu has scored. Oh, dear. That is an outrageously good finish from the Canada International and Wolves are right back in this playoff now. Taylor. Well, that was the ball he tried to play earlier to uh, to Rob Street. Should have played earlier. Raksaki here is uh, Unlucky. lurking about Malachi Boateng, opens up a little. Now David Boateng, still David Boateng. Corner. And Raksaki couldn't poke it home, it's a corner kick. It's good Palace pressure as they look for a third. Shooting chance perhaps for Taylor Perry. Shifts it instead. It's a decent looking ball oh. and it comes through to Corbanu. Oh. He scored again. His second fantastic finish. A one man show for Wolves tonight. It's going to be even later tonight if one does arrive. Now Gordon will uh, control that down well and he's picked out Omilabu. David Omilabu here. Lovely touch, he'll get it back. Omilabu! <laughs> oh yes! David Omilabu with just his second goal at under 23 level. Palace are back ahead and on course for the playoff final as things stand. Wow. Well, this guy's statistics talk for themselves. As I said, you know, 20 goals from like 21 games. It's phenomenal. Palace brought on three attacking players, really, even Reece Well, Hannan. yeah, Reece Hannan just like a winger, wasn't he? Yeah. No, this is dangerous, though. In it goes dangerously, oh. and it's headed over. Massive chance. Time is up. We're in added time of added time of extra time. Gordon flicks it on. Referee's had one look at his watch. Malachi Boateng bounces into a challenge, and Palace have done it. They're 90 minutes away from promotion in their first season at Category 1 Academy level. A Herculean effort 
They were two off at half time. They were pegged back to two all. But 18 year old David Omelabu struck the winner in extra time. What a night in front of a boisterous crowd. And these youngsters have done it. They will play Sunderland here for a chance of promotion. Crystal Palace three, Wolves two.